very good day all and welcome back to art and craft a hobby in today's video let us see how to quill these ladybugs in rain so let's begin first i'll be quilling the ladybugs for which i'm using three quilling strips of red tone i'll be making a tight coil out of these three strips for today's project i'll be quilling three ladybugs of different sizes and I'll share the number of strips I've used for each size in the description box. I have made the tight coil with red. I'm similarly going to make a tight coil using black tone. I'm now going to make a dome shape out of these coils. And I'll glue the inner side and allow it to dry. To make the texture on the body of the ladybug, I'm going to take a piece of black quilling strip. I'll apply some glue to it and then glue it across the center of the red dome shaped coil. Trim the extra strips on the edges of the coil and glue the black dome shaped coil on one end of the black strip. To make the eyes, I am going to use some white paint and make the white dots as I am showing in the video. You can alternatively use white punched paper as well to make the eyes. I will now make random dots all over the body of the ladybug using some black paint. I will repeat the same for all the three ladybugs and the ladybugs are ready. To make the grass, I am using different tones of green. Here I have joined two strips each of the dark and lighter tones and with a quilling comb, I am going to make single sided loops and both tones together. With every loop, ensure to apply some glue on the base or the starting of the loop so that it doesn't unwind. I'm using two shades here at a time so that the grass is thick enough. This will add volume to the grass. Also, I have made grass using different lengths of strips. The length of the strip I am using is 30 cm and 3 mm width. So if for some of the grass, I have used two strips attached, some with one and a half strip attached and some with one strip. The grass is now ready. I am going to cut off the extra strips. I have secured the end and now I am applying some glue between the strips and I will press it all along the length of the strip as I am showing in the video. And I am going to repeat this for all the grass that I am going to make. The grass is now ready. In some areas, I have added layers of grass to add depth to the project. The third element I am going to make for this project is the umbrella. And here I have made umbrella of three different sizes. I have recently made a video on how to make this umbrella in detail. I will share that link in the description box. Also, the three different sizes of paper I have used to make these umbrella. I'll mention it in the description box. And these are the three sizes of umbrellas. I'm using some teardrop shaped coils made with half strip of grey to make the raindrops. I'm now making some speckles with some green paint on a white cardboard. So this cardboard is going to be the base where I'll be gluing all the elements. This is completely optional. I'll now glue the elements starting with the grass. I'm first arranging them on the cardboard 
and I'll then glue it. Hope you all liked today's video. If you did, please do hit the like button. Also, share and subscribe to Art and Craft a Hobby. Stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you for watching. Keep supporting.